Welcome to the semifinals of the National Invitational Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. This should be a very entertaining game between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Villanova Wildcats. Number one is a player that brings with him a lot of talent and ability. He's a star on this team, and we're going to keep an eye on him tonight. This is a guy who can create, man. He's my all-time citizen. He's a creator. He can create easy baskets with his passing. He can create for himself with his dribble penetration, and he can create big problems for other teams. The Wildcats will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Wildcats should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them? Though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Third, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Number one with the fake. Looks at the three. Gets it to fall. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He's got to get rid of it. He shoots from the angle. It sticks. Roll that one back. Trying to go inside. Great anticipation defensively. Number 20 takes the pass from the top of the circle. They scored seven in a row. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Number one is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. The Wildcats are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He hits it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBA. On the outside, down in the low close, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Number 33 gets the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to feed inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Nice high post screen. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Face it. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He buries the shot. Outside jumper. 
That was nice. On the outside, shots there if he wants it. Up and inside. Set that screen away. He bombs from outside. Got it. There it is again. Double team now, bad angle. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. On the top of the circle, they're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. He shoots from left of the circle, drains the shot. Our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The frustration right there. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. He's trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of the layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. Young man, he wants everyone on their feet. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. To the charity strike. Good. Turns it over. Number 24 makes a great move to draw the foul. Number 11 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from right of the circle. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Pushing that basketball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. They look to get it to the inside. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. The ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Dumps it in. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Number 33 takes the feed. And all the way on the baseline. Now the kick out. Three goes in. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. There's the trap. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. 
Hickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Moving it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> He's got a nice shot fake. There's a double team waiting there. Got some room. Looks at a three. He buries it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling at all cylinders right now. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Number one steals the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Got an open look if he wants it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Well, it's just about that time here in the first half for an update. Dick, in your opinion, how is our focus player doing so far? I tell you what, doesn't he look like the 3S man? Super scintillating and sensational. Working around the perimeter. He takes a three. Way off target. Minnesota are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He shoots from the elbow. He gets that one to fall. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So you're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The Golden Gophers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Up and inside. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Great shot. Show the replay on that. Look at that spacing. There's a high screen. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. I want to see that again. They'll work it around the arc. Now they work it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. A high screen. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Both teams are looking to get something going here. Unloads a three. Makes it. the perimeter. Spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart. Minnesota are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. 
Number 33 gets the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He goes for three. He gets it to go. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The power forward with the ball for two. Perfectly executed. We'll get another look at it. Here's a double team. Part of the city that always really the gate in the offense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. the dribble gives it up picked out of the air gave it up top of the circle they work it around the perimeter stolen away nice hops. Move it into the front court. And he scores despite the hack. In the paint. Good job defensively. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. And now they'll bring it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. The Wildcats are out of rhythm, and they just look frustrated out there right now. Well, at this point, Brad, they just need to bear down and get it done. Manage their frustrations and get things going in the right direction. And we'll go to the free throw line. He sinks it. They scored eight in a row. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Got the high pick. Number one grabs it. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. about ready for a play to resume.
He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. There they come with a double team to stop it. He attempts the trifecta. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Intercepted. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The shot from the baseline. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. With the fake. Fake. He attempts the jump hook. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Number 50 draws the personal. He has a chance to cash him in. First shot is good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Controlling the ball. Number 10 bakes the shot. He dials long distance. Buried it. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Takes away the pass. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. the shot gave it up looking for the foul he waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That's a great response by this crowd. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. For two. And in and out. Number 20 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. On the dribble, gives it up. With a little baby hook. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He 
He fires from long range. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Here's the three ball. Scorches the net. He'll kick it back outside. He puts up the three ball. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Let's take a look at that last basket. Gave it up, picks off the lazy pass. Just hoping for the best. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Wildcats lead by three. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. All right, Dick, let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Villanova is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. With a little baby hook, Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. The Golden Gophers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. On the inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The center in the paint. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps into the defender. Go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Villanova are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. I need to see that again, Brad. off the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. There's the trap. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. With the block. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Okay, 
The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Isn't it great, Brad? Up and inside. In the paint. Nope. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Well, the arc looked good. He cleans the glass. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't blow that, baby. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He shoots from the top of the key. You betcha. Gave it up. Goes up for two. In and out. Looking for contact. The lay -in. Inside and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Tries a three. Minnesota are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. the outside and a momentary look from three-point land he tries the three way off target robs him of the ball he took the contact and threw it down with authority he got business on that dumb Brad Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays, and boy, do they have the momentum now. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. And there's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play.
The Wildcats must regroup, Dick, and they've got to regroup fast. Hey, it's tough to take a mental blow like that, Brad. Let's see how this affects their play. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Replay of the night, baby! It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. He fires it up. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Double team now, bad angle. He throws it up from downtown. He drains it. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against the defense uh, like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Fakes it. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Here they go into the break. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brian, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. Here's a double team. Take it away. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Sinks it. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Well, Mr. Vitale, obviously there's a lot of history with the NIT. Wasn't there a time, Dick, when it was really more popular than the NCAA tournament? There sure was, Brad. It's somewhat hard to believe. In fact, in 1970, the coach for Marquette actually turned down their NCAA bid to play in the NIT. The Warriors went on to win it that year, too. They passed it up. That's impressive, especially when you consider what teams have to do these days to get to the NCAA tournament. Gets two at the charity strike. The Wildcats trail by five. Stolen ball. Shoots from right of the circle. 
He can't miss. Finish up Max Feeling it for that. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I'm telling you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Intercepted. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. With the fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. I'll tell you, great footwork too to create that opportunity. And then he's got the touch. What an offensive play. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Strips the ball. They're working around the perimeter. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Takes away the pass. Two perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. He shows the sweet touch. Bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Golden Gophers are ahead by eight. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see the wrong man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. He attempts the three. He drains the shot. off the pass for the deuce he puts it in with contact and all he intercepts it tries for two easy one Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he, ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Trying to draw some contact. Easy one. Let the replay show us the real deal. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Rims out. Great defense. On the outside. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The shooting guard receives the pass. 
Villanova have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The fake. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Picks off the lazy pass for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. In the paint. Good fake. For the deuce. I love this guy hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skills. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. He dials long distance. He hits the shot. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. He does the sweet fake shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Tries for two. Villanova are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. And a momentary look from three-point land. And he scores despite the hack. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. It's stolen. Got a man in high post. He shoots. He's money with a shot. He's one more look at it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard handles the feed. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. He goes to the line. Buries it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Unloads a three. He drains the shot.
let's go back out onto the floor. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Jumped in front to take it away. He nails the bucket. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. the deuce sweet looking shot he is super he really is it'll be interesting to see the level of energy dick when they come out of this timeout Shot clock is dead. The center handles the pass with a layup. He takes the three. Nice shot. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. They go back in front by two. On the dribble, gives it up. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Villanova finally pulls this close one out. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.